Hello, everybody. Hi, friends. Oh, I just dropped my mouse pad. I am so excited for today's cooking class. We got Heidi with us, and we got Janelle, and we got Gigi. Oh, and Courtney's going to join us. Yes. So we are making chicken pot pie today. And apparently, my ladies here, I am the only one going to be cooking the chicken pot pie. <laughs> Um, so Janelle is going to be watching and we have Gigi is going to be watching and Courtney is going to be watching. Um, so I am going to uh, show you how to make this. This is going to be a two-step process. So if you're watching this, um, go ahead and say hi in the Facebook group or if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. So let me show you what kind of stuff we need. Um, so I have my my ingredients list here on here can you see all right so we're gonna need some butter some onions um celery we're gonna be slicing that um carrots garlic thyme salt and pepper chicken heavy cream so i'm going i'm cheating i'm using a uh, the frozen bag of vegetables so that i don't have to chop out the carrots or the peas <laughs> or the corn. So I'm just using the frozen bag of mixed veggies. So you can do that or you can use the ingredients. But I have to chop my celery. So just do that real quick. Um, so it's about half a cup. So I'm gonna use two stalks of celery. And um, just quickly slice that. All right, so I got my celery. So I have like little uh, pots not little pots, but like little dishes to put my um, my ingredients as I'm prepping them just to make it easy. Okay. And then I got my, uh, woo, excuse me, my, uh, what do you call this? My onions. So just going to chop them. And uh, just to be clear, I'm not classly trained or anything. I'm just a home cook. So I'm just cooking. I'm just chopping my onions. I'm sure there's a better way. So please forgive my lack of technicality. <laughs> How do you chop your onions, ladies? Heidi first. Um, just the way you're doing it, Mai. I also um, I also have my chopper. That I got two choppers. Um, one is a longer one. It's like a rectangle, and I can smoosh them down. Um, one is another one that I crank. But most of the time, I'm just doing the same as you and, and cutting them old school. Okay. All right. Good, good. Yeah. So just get them done however you can, right? We are just, we're home cooks. And, um, you know, okay, we have Janet. Hey, Mom. In? Hey, hey, Courtney. Hey. I'm not in the kitchen, Where but. <laughs> I'm... Where are you at? Well, I'm. <laughs> I'm laying down. I got to get ready to go to work here soon. So I figured I would try to rest a little bit. You're laying down on the job? <laughs> I am I am laying down on the job. No, oh, Courtney. <laughs> but, I see, but, I, but I see you guys are getting it done in the kitchen. Yeah, so I am um, chopping my garlic. So usually I have my prep work done, but you know, didn't get it done today, so we're doing it live. So um, this is going to take the hard, I guess the longest part, the hardest part for me usually is the prep work, cutting all the ingredients. Right. So, <laughs> cause it's like, you gotta wash it, you gotta chop it, you gotta clean it. But it's part of the cooking. So if you can uh, give yourself shortcuts by prepping the ingredients ahead of time, so you know you're gonna be using garlic for the week, just like cut a bunch of them and then store it up. Um, so Courtney, I have a question for you. Dude, How do you up? feel about pot pie? Are you a fan? I am a fan. I, I'm definitely a fan. Um, it's, a, it's a nice hearty meal. Um, it, it usually, uh, when I do, I just remember how uh, full I am <laughs> when I'm done. <laughs> so, okay. it's very hearty, huh? Yeah. 
Very, very hearty, yes. <laughs> when I think about chicken pot pie, it's very, um, it's a comfort food for me. Um, so, um, but our friend Janelle here says she's sick of chicken pot pies because she ate it too much as a child. <laughs> is that right, Janelle? For some, that is correct. <laughs> yeah. for some reason though my for some reason though i think if she had one that you're making she might have a different opinion i don't know it's different i think it's you know <laughs> I, I think so i think so i mean no i don't know <laughs> oh that, that sounds like a challenge you know that sounds like a challenge that's a, it's a good reason to go to California. <laughs> this sounds like a challenge. I'm up for the challenge. Come to California. Let me make some chicken pot pie for you. And um, you will change your mind, my friend. Is that true? Okay. So if you don't like, maybe like you'd use a different type of protein. I don't know if that would work or not. Yeah, you can always mix that up. Vegetarian. Um, maybe. Beef. I think you could even use beef, right, Ma? Yeah, you could do meat. You could do beef. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> it's your party, right? It's your party, so, right? Yeah, so I have some chicken thighs here that I'm going to cut up. Um, so you can use chicken breasts if you like. Or um, if you want to make it a shortcut, you can buy rotisserie chicken, and that's going to cut down the cooking process a little bit more. Um, and if you... What was that? Did you say something? I think somebody uh, might have said something uh, to somebody else. They just probably needed to mute their phone. I'm sorry, I should have muted myself. Um, and then you, is that you, G okay, Gigi, our new friend here. Um, I was gonna, I was saying if you are, uh, uh, don't eat meat or chicken, um, you can use tofu or um, that could, that's a good uh, protein or you can use mushrooms. That's a really good, or just Gigi. make it with extra veggies. Gigi, so, Gigi have, you, have you ever made, uh, like a chicken pot pie, Gigi, or like a pot pie before? He's also a, a I cook. Have, um, I have. I uh, my, Sometimes it turns out wonderful, which is very rare. The majority of the time it turns out dry. So this is good. I'm glad I'm watching my because I can learn how to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I just followed the recipe and uh, it's pretty forgiving, I think. I've made chicken pot pies before, and it's um, it's like basically a stir fry, but you bake it at at the end, I guess. So, so yeah. So we All right. Have, so I have you know, about two chicken chicken pies there. I don't know if so I, we got. I don't know if I did it correctly, my but um, Cheyenne, I tried to add her to the stream. Um, Cheyenne, are you there? What's that? Said so, um, I tried to ask somebody into the stream. I think I did it right. I never actually never did it. Cheyenne, did I do it correctly? Well, I, I can't even. Can't hear. Can you hear him? He's breaking up on mine. He is totally breaking up. <laughs> uh, you need better connection to your house, my friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got our ingredients. We got our. Uh, we got our onions, we got our celery, uh, we got our chicken, all right, salt and pepper, thyme. I don't have any thyme, so I'm not, it's outside, so I'm not using it. Salt and pepper, chicken, heavy cream. So I have my heavy cream. Where's my heavy cream? In the fridge somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, so I have um, organic heavy whipping cream. All right, so we're going to make the filling. All right, so we need to make some room here, guys. All right. So I have my portable cooktop right here. I'm bringing out all the fancy equipment. <laughs> all right. 
Okay, what is that? Uh oh. Alright, so I'm turning on the. Alright, so this is an induction cooker. It's kind of loud, but I'm going to have that and I'm going to uh, let that heat up. And I have some olive oil here. Okay, so it says butter. I guess you can use butter or olive oil. I have butter. Let's see, where's my butter at? All right, question for you guys. Do you keep your butter in the fridge or on the countertop? Refrigerator. On the countertop. Where's your countertop question, for your butter? butter? I keep Both. mine in the fridge, but I always wondered, is it okay to put it on the countertop? Because my grew up with my grandparents and them doing that, and it was always good and soft. Yeah, so we keep ours out in the countertop in this, like, this thing so yeah. it makes good spreadable um you know when you want to have grilled cheese or whatever all right so it's nice and hot i am going to put my butter in there all right i got my butter so, Ma, I have a question. Yes, I have Did the answer. Did you ever hear anybody say, like, um, that maybe chicken pot pie could be real starchy at times? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's the pie part. So today we're making low carb. We're using almond flour instead of um, white flour. So that's going to cut down on the carbohydrate. Okay. Yes, that's awesome. Yep. So yeah. adding our onions, we're going to saute that. Okay, our celery. We're just going to add all the goodies in here. Okay, the garlic, I just add the garlic. That's a, ooh, got my garlic. Yeah. And then our veggies. So carrots. I'm adding the peas, the carrots, whatever the mix is. It's peas, carrots, corn, green beans. All right. You, you came in with another device, Courtney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Am I clear? <laughs> It sounds like you're in a tunnel or something. Oh my. Tunnel. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're sauteing our veggies here to a tenderness for a few minutes, and then we're going to add our chicken. All right. So we can season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. To the veggies, just a little, a little bit of seasoning, and um, it calls for fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can use the dry thyme if you can find it. If not, it's okay. All right. I can't find it. That's okay. So, you know. Just because I'm the teacher here doesn't mean I have all my stuff together. <laughs> I'm just like you guys. <laughs> that just, that's what happens. That's real life. You know, that's real life. It is real life. This is so real life. I'm just, I'm just a girl in my kitchen making food, making dinner for my family. All right. All right. So we got... Our chicken, I'm going to add the chicken to this. I'm going to move the vegetable to the one side. Okay, then I'm going to add my chicken. So this is a one-pot stir-fry kind of deal. Okay, so it's 
Put that in. Okay, so in addition to the chicken, uh, to the cream, you need chicken stock. Okay, oh, let me add the next ingredient. All right. All right, so we're gonna add the chicken to the pan and cook until it's cooked through. So a couple more minutes. Okay, so next, let's get our other ingredients ready. We need some Dijon mustard, chicken stock, uh, heavy cream, okay? So how much heavy cream do we need? All right, so three-fourths cups of heavy cream. And if you don't have heavy cream, you can use uh, sour cream, too. Um, so we just want kind of like a creamy base to it or um, Greek yogurt. That works as well. So I'm just giving you substitution if you don't have the exact thing. So don't let not having one thing stop you from making um, making the whole thing, right? So. What you laughing about, Janelle? What you got over there? You're muted. <laughs> oh, <there's> the <laughs> I ordered um, salmon, Ooh, looking good. a lobster tail, and a shrimp skewer. Oh, seafood. From Red Lobster. Seafood yeah, tonight. Yeah, like for day. So I will lobster. Be <laughs> we made the cheddar biscuit from Red Lobster the other week. Yeah, so I was I was telling I was telling Gigi next week we're making um but tamales right next Thursday. What is it? Tamales. Tamale pie. Yeah, next week. Are you into tamales? Can you guys hear me? Next week? All right. So next we're going to add. The cream, so three quarters cup of cream. Now, what is shepherd's pie? That's with the meat, right? What's that? Shepherd's pie, isn't that with the meat? That's with brown beef. Oh, I've made shepherd's pie too. That's really good. And you can make that low carb instead of potatoes. You use a uh, mashed cauliflower. Yeah. Mm. So are you guys into that? We can make that. All right, so I got my cream in here. Okay, then we're gonna add our chicken stock. So half a cup of chicken stock. Hey, mine. Yes. Today at Walmart, I ordered this right here, this tool. It's a slicer. And it's so awesome because look how it made my zucchini. It looks like noodles. Oh, yeah. Did you make some zoodles? No. Are you making, you're making the lasagna? It's supposed yeah. to be in slices, not that, zoodles. Yeah. yeah, no, I did the slices. I did the slices. Oh, okay. But it was pretty neat because it came with three different slicers. And this one here made... Look, like I said, look how nice these came out. That looks nice. Okay, so the next ingredient is uh, Dijon mustard. So you need two tablespoons. <laughs> is that you, Courtney? <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think I'm on mute and yet I'm not. In, um, I thought you. I thought, I thought you. I thought you preferred another for mustard. You was like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. What what mustard brand do you recommend? I don't like Dijon mustard. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> okay, this is this is live, so that's why. 
you know, things like this happen. So you know that we are real people doing things live. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fun. It is kind of fun. All right. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we have our mustard, our chicken stock, and our heavy cream, now we're going to add um, some breaded um, cheddar cheese. So you can use sharp cheddar cheese or um, extra sharp, sharp, medium sharp. Sharp, 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 sharp. All right, so I got my shredded cheese. All right. So we're gonna need about three fourth cups. Put that to there. I'm gonna do like about two handful. All right. Just, just keep dumping it. Don't even count it. <laughs> just keep it coming. You can't go wrong with cheese, man. Yeah. Right. So we just added our sharp cheddar cheese, and we're gonna cook this to a thickness. And then, um, and then we're gonna set it aside because we're gonna make our uh, dough. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So my, I don't have my things like you do, but this is your recipe, so I just wanted to show you how it's coming. Okay, let me put you in front. Oh, what's that? Show me. That, that's the first layer here that with the lasagna so i wanted to show you how because this this is my recipe but and they messed up my order today so i couldn't do the other one that she's doing but so i'm improvising with another recipe <laughs> all right you're so heidi is making a lasagna from last week so she's a little bit behind yes yes but i but i'm here I am present. <laughs> she's here and she's cooking with us. And, you know, we're just having fun cooking together. So whether you're making our recipe or you're just hanging out, we appreciate you. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So I have my, my chicken. I'm going to show you guys. Ooh. That looks like, what do you guys think? Looking good. I'm trying to get the camera. So that's. So that's going to thicken up as it cools down. So I'm going to set it aside. And then um, we're going to make the dough next. We're going to transition. So set this aside. Oh. All right. So got to be careful. This is hot. All right, so I'm moving my portable stove over. So the next thing is the dough part. So this is what we need for the dough, and we need um, to microwave the dough. Um, all right, so preheat your oven to 375 first if you're cooking this. Um, I'm using this pie. I'm not making the mini pot pie. I'm just making a big pie. Okay, so I'm using, the, I don't have the, the small pie tins, but I guess I suppose I could use this to make little, little chicken pot pies for in, for a single serving. What do you think, Courtney? What do I think about what? Which pot to use? I just went out, didn't I? You, you asked me Sorry, guys. What's that? So my, how many does that serve? The, the amount that you're making I right said now, I, how much does that my serve? My reception just went out. My internet. My Wi-Fi. So All right. So for the dough, I need one and a half cup of mozzarella cheese. Okay. Then three tablespoons of cream cheese. Cream cheese. So, mozzarella cheese, cream cheese. I might have to try So, three-fourth cups of almond flour. Did you hear that, Mai? What's that? She said, she said 
cheese. We might have to try that one, mine. I love cheese. <laughs> what? Janelle, Janelle is becoming a believer real quick. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> is she? Oh. Uh. So this, this is not your mom's pot pie. <laughs> this is next level. Right. <laughs> this is not your mom. Right, it's so what mine. we need is so we need the mozzarella cheese, the cream cheese, almond flour. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to in a large mixing bowl. We're going to combine the cheese and cream cheese, and we're going to microwave it for a minute. Okay. So three fourths cup. So this is like going to be part of the dough. So about three fourths cups of mozzarella cheese. Okay, and then, and then we need some cream cheese. So how much cream cheese did we need? We needed uh, three tablespoons of cream cheese. All right. Well, guys, I got to get ready to split. I'm, to I'm totally right. eyeballing this. Hopefully, oh, guys, everything looks split. amazing, guys. Peace out. I got to roll. Okay. Thanks. Be safe, thanks. Courtney. Bye, you, Janelle, Heidi. Okay, Heidi, thanks, thanks for, for on. joining us. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take my cheese. I'm going to put it in the microwave for a minute so it's a melt. All right. So in the meantime, uh, okay, so I microwave for a minute and then mix it up and then put it in the microwave for another minute. And then I add in my almond flour, egg, garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. All right. So let me find my Italian seasoning somewhere. Found it. Okay, so onion powder, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, an egg. I have egg whites. I need to use up, so I'm going to use the egg whites. All right, so I need three-fourths cups of almond flour. Okay. So this is almond flour is um, six grams of total, uh, total carbohydrate, and three of which is uh, fiber, so you can subtract the fiber, so it's about three grams of carbs per serving, which is about a quarter cup. Now, if you compare that with like all purpose flour, you're gonna see a huge difference. I'm not sure if somebody can find out how much uh, uh, carbohydrate is, let me know. Um, but um, yeah, it's. it's it's going to be way less. All right, so here's the cheese. I'm going to add another minute to mix, to let it melt. All right, so then egg, all in flour. All right, so have your oven preheated. Okay, so I'm going to clean up as that um, heats up. So I've done my cheese, put it back. Okay, my there is 23 grams of carbohydrate in the regular flour. Okay, is that like per quarter cup? This is per quarter cup, correct. Okay, so um, almond flour is six grams of carb, total carb, but it has fiber, three grams of fiber, so three grams of total net carb per quarter cup. Are there any fiber in all-purpose flour? Um, let me see here. The fiber is one less than one gram. Okay, so it's negligible, right? Right. Okay, so you're not you're getting a better um, quality, I guess. Yeah. In almond yeah. flour. It's definitely a healthier version. Yeah. All right, so I got my cheese. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then we're going to add our almond flour. Okay, so go and mix that up. So this is going to be our dough that we're going to put on top of our 
pot pie. Okay, and then we're gonna add our seasoning. Okay, so, oh, we're gonna add some egg, one large egg. Okay, and just mix that up. You gotta move fast because we don't want the cheese to harden again. Okay, and um, so in the keto community, there's this um, fat head dough that uses mozzarella cheese um, to uh, to make pizza, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and then you can make like cinnamon rolls and all kinds of stuff that is, uh, so that's, if you, if you wanna, you know, you make bread, this is one way you can do it with using a fat head dough. Interesting. And cheese, okay. cheese and almond flour. Speaking um, of cheese, I'm going in my. You're going I'm in? Ready to go. Wow, that looks good. Yay. All right, so now I'm gonna add my seasoning. Oh, well, where's my towel? Okay, so I'm gonna add, what is I need? One teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, one teaspoon of onion powder. Oh. All right, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Heidi's favorite seasoning, Italian. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> sea salt and black pepper. So a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper somewhere. Where is it? All right. I'm just mixing it up. All right. All right, so check where do my peppers go? Right. Oh, there it is. It was behind the flower. Oh, so we got a comment. What does it say? Did I hear cinnamon rolls? <laughs> yes, cinnamon rolls. Are we into cinnamon rolls? <laughs> I love cinnamon, cinnamon, anything. <laughs> yes, we make that. All right, so one of, one of the session we're making uh, peanut butter cups. So did everybody get their, um, get their mold, peanut butter cup mold? I ordered mine on Amazon today. <laughs> All right, so exciting. Um, yes, all right, so now the next step is, uh, all right, it says divide the dough into four equal pieces, spread the dough pieces in a large flat, even circle, parchment paper, wet your hands. All right, we're not, we're just gonna do one big. Okay, so I'm gonna do, all right, so this dough is a wet. I think I'm gonna eat, add a little cheese because I have too much, or actually flour, because I put too much egg in there. Oh, shoot. All right. So just working the uh, almond flour in there. All right. Whew. All right. So now it looks like a dough. It was a little wet, too wet earlier. All right. And I guess you can make the dough ahead of time too. You want to cut down the process? Oh, maybe not, because it's, well, it doesn't take that long. Anyways, so here's my dough. This is going to be the, the, the topping on my pie. Okay. That is so interesting. Yeah, Janelle, you did keto before, right? Yeah, yeah. But you didn't do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 this is how you do keto, right? Okay. Because okay. <laughs> I eat really well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my yeah, love to eat. eat. Yes, that's Heidi's favorite part to watch me eat. <laughs> yes, every yeah. time we turn on, my eating. And she's 
and she is um was able to continue and keep her weight off and everything so it just like proven that it works you know how much weight did you lose mine uh 40 pounds that's good 40 pounds yeah i um i gained up uh all the weight a lot of weight after i i was done breastfeeding weaning i weaned my son and so I was not burning the same amount of calories, but eating about the same. So it just yeah. kind of, you know, did not uh, did not work out for me. <laughs> um, but like a lot of the times, the misconception is that um, fat is what makes you fat. Mm -hmm. But really, in reality, it's the carbohydrate. It's the processed carbohydrate mm -hmm. that is like making your body retain all that weight and it causes inflammation it's the carbohydrate it's like the processed one um we i do eat carbohydrate but it's in the vegetables it's the fiber yeah. fiber is a type of that is a type of uh, carbohydrate that we want that is good and will you know move your system along and keep you uh fuller right okay so now what we do is just put the the pot pie ingredients the fillings into the pan. I might have to do two. Well, let me see if I can fit everything into one. I'm just gonna put fit it all into one. Hey, Mom, right. how many minutes did you have that lasagna in? Uh, I don't know. Twenty minutes. Okay, that's minutes? what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Lady, I'm making something different tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. <laughs> you're throwing her off. You're throwing her off. <laughs> yeah, I'm talented, but like you, you're giving me trick questions here. That's what family does. <laughs> <laughs> tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. All right. So I'm going to take a picture of the pie before it gets the topping. All right. So I put it in a big pie thingy. So this is uh, made of glass. And then I'm going to put the dough on top. All right. So, so here's my dough. I'm just going to. I guess I'm supposed to roll this, but I'm going to just, um, I'm going to, I'm just going to, all right. I, I guess I have to roll it. I made that dough out of cheese. I did. Almond flour. Hmm. Almond flour, mozzarella cheese, uh, egg, mm -mm. some seasoning. It's super easy. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Put this on top. It's that gonna looks be awesome, Mike. Thank you. All right. No, can you use that dough for pie fillings too? Pie, pie. Uh, I'm sure you can. Like apple what, pie. Don't you think if you it would be fresh apples and stuff? Would it be too salty? That's what I was gonna say. You think? Uh, oh yeah, it could be, huh? It could be, but there's uh, there's other recipes for using almond flour to make it uh, sweet. But this is just like one recipe to make up um, the crust. But I've made um, like almond flour crust before for pie. So don't worry, stick with me, Heidi. I want to do the apple. We got pie. you. I want fresh apples, nice thick fresh apples and cinnamon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the thing with apple is that it's it's high in sugar content. So you, um, apple. You can, yeah. Darn it. But you can still eat it. I mean, you're not <laughs> try not to eat the whole pie. <laughs> well, there, there you go. You want to? I don't know. Can you can you resist yourself? <clears throat> yeah. You know. Apples do have a lot of carbohydrates. They're, they're carbohydrates, so. It is, but you know what? I'd rather you eat the fresh apple 
then you know that's gonna like uh okay so i'm gonna make an x so i'd rather you eat the fruit yes. with all the peels and everything so you get your um, fiber mm -hmm. um you know but just watch the sugar content and eat a small eat a small uh apple or eat well, half an apple okay well, so don't deprive you yourself yeah right so there's my <laughs> pie so i'm gonna bake it in the oven so it's gonna be 375 what is it 375 um what is it Let me go directions uh oops okay so it's 375 for 20 to 25 minutes all right so there's my pie it's golden oven i'm using my little air fryer oh well, i think she froze up on us <clears throat> That's just an action shot, guys. <laughs> All right. Sorry, my internet's like been acting up today. You had an action shot, Ma. It was like this. <laughs> yeah. So what I need to do is actually get a Ethernet cable so I can hook directly instead of using Wi-Fi to make it. Um... Look what I'm cutting, Ma. What are you cutting? Oh. oh. I hate cantaloupe. Oh. Uh, why, why do you hate cantaloupe? I'm I curious. Don't, I don't like the taste. I don't like oh, cantaloupe don't or honeydew. Mm -mm. Oh. Cantaloupe, honeydew, coconut, and that's about it. Do you like, like watermelon? Huh? Do you like watermelon? Like that I love enough? watermelon, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love watermelon. Um, so Heidi, you had a question, how many breasts, how many does this recipe serve? Like the pot pie or yes. what recipe are you talking about? Uh, your, yours, my, yours today. <laughs> oh. I didn't do it guys. I swear. Goodness, my internet <laughs> is a pain in the butt today. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh no technical difficulties guys I, we still <clears throat> hear you and see you you hear me now yeah i look oh i didn't realize i was all on the camera like that <laughs> yeah. Your kitchen. Oh, is that a crock pot on top there, Janelle? Yeah, I barely ever use it. Ah. Yeah, my um, my Ninja Foodie took the place of that and a whole bunch of other stuff that I have in here. Oh, no, <laughs> pressure cooking, right? Yeah, I have a pressure cooker. I have an Instapot, a Ninja Foodie, the crock pot, and something else up there too. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Up there, I was never yeah. into the slow cooking. It was too slow. I'm into the fast cooking. I want my yeah. food. <laughs> I yeah, want my food. I love the pressure cooking. No. <laughs> Mine's yeah, like, so, no, I have no time for that. <laughs> no, no, no time for slow cooking. Come on now. <laughs> um, so um, my kids are back in school. So it's day two. And they're they're still all smiles, which makes me happy. Yay! <laughs> and um, yeah. So they have a daycare after school, which is like right on campus, which is really nice. nice. So it's been it's been good because I get a, like uninterrupted time to do work or whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they've been with me the whole summer, so it's it's nice. I know a lot of parents are like anxious or they cry when their kids leave school. I was like cheering. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> she was yeah. like, no, no, no. Have fun. 
Bye. I mean, I'm going to see you later tonight. It's not like you're going away for good, you know. Until, until you send them off on their last day of school and then graduation and then college, then you're going to cry. Yeah. All right. All right. Ma Mama Hai is going through this right now. Well, your daughter is going on an international uh, school like trip, right? Yes. Yeah, tell us, tell us where she's going. Oh, over to Europe. Nice. Over to Europe area. Yeah, so. <laughs> for a while. For a while. For a quarter or semester? Whole semester. Okay, and what is she going to be doing there? Well, well her, plans her plans are, are she is going she's for biopsych. And then she is going to, when she finishes um, that, she's going on for her PA. Okay, yeah, you got a, you got a smarty on your hand. Yeah, she was um, valedictorian and has gotten straight A's since she was a little girl. <laughs> so proud. Yes, yes. And it's awesome because both my children are um, very, you know, very successful. One is more, um, he's hands-on. He runs machinery. And then the other one, she's more like college, you know. So it was, it's beautiful to see both um, sides of the spectrum and, um, and do both doing, you know, very successful. Ah, I love it because... You know, you, each children is different, and you gotta yeah. allow for that individuality, because sometimes parents, um, you know, they compare each, their kids to one another, and um, it's not fair because, like, they each have their own interests and specialty and stuff. So, right. I mean, that's what you know. So yeah. yeah. And they both like to cook. My son used to love to cook. He hasn't done it for a while. But when yeah. he was little, he used to love to cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to uh, give you guys a preview of what we're making next week. So we're making a t another type of casserole, tamale oh. pie. Oh. How do you feel about tamales, uh, Miss uh, Janelle? Oh, she might not be available. But this is, uh, you know, up the Mexican uh, side. It's with seasoned ground beef. And um, it's with a coconut flour and almond flour crust. All right. So it's it's a similar, very similar to uh, chicken pot pie, but, you know, uh, tamales. So this is what you need. You need ground beef or pork or chicken or turkey. Uh, any type of ground meat that you're into, uh, taco seasoning, all right? So, uh, you know, when you're looking for taco seasoning, check the ingredients because there are um, sometimes sugar added to the thing that is not necessary. So just be wary. Um, and you can make your own taco seasoning very easily with like cumin and chili powder. Paprika, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, just just be uh, just read the ingredients and see what ingredient there is, is you don't really need um, chili powder jalapeno if you're into the spice if you want to put spicy um, tomato paste water cheddar cheese again we're using a lot of cheese so I'm sorry if you're lactose intolerant <laughs> um, but you can use a vegan cheese if you're if you can't handle the regular cheese. And then we need a combination of coconut flour and almond flour, all right? Baking powder, and then your regular ingredients, salt, eggs, butter. And then if you want, you can get a cornbread um, like extract, but it's completely optional, but that's, you know, so you can leave this out. Um, and then you need water. So it's just, it's just another type of skillet. I mean, um, not skillet, casserole type. And I love casserole. Do you know why I love casserole, Heidi? Because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> because you have lots of leftovers. Leftovers. I was going to say that, Ma. I was going to say that. 
because you have lots of leftovers so that you can eat it the next day for lunch or for dinner or you have kids that are hungry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of servings and, you know, for the same amount of work. You know, that's why I love, it's, it's not, um, it's just easy, right? It's easy to make uh, casseroles and you feed a big crowd a big family or for yourself you can portion it out and you can freeze it if you don't get to it if you get tired of eating the same thing over you can just freeze it into a little single serving size and like take it to work or take it out for dinner whenever you don't have anything to make or, or whatnot so um right so that, that that's the, um, the, um keto um tamale thingy you're making that next week am i correct Yes, we are making uh, tamale pie next week. Yeah, so the, the recipe. A, yeah, is there a the, way like the recipe will be posted so I could get the stuff? Yeah, it's already posted in our events um, page, in our events in I, Courtney group, okay. the Facebook group. Okay. Um, so let me, let me give you a, a, a tour of our I, Courtney group. So... Let's see. Um, yeah, so this is a good time while we're waiting for the pie. Yeah, that's awesome. To, to bike. <laughs> Let's give you a tour of our accountability group. Right. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, let me make it bigger. All right. All right. So if you look up here, there's all these tabs here. And if you go to more, there's the events page here, the events tab. So you can look at it on your laptop or on your um, mobile. So today it's happening right now. We have the chicken pot pie. And then next week is tamales pie. So you can click into it and then, um, you know, I posted the recipe here and there. So it's in the event and the link to the recipe. Also a screenshot of the, the recipe. Um, but yeah, that's how you would get it. And then you, um, you would RSVP if, you, if you're going and the link and everything to go. Is there, does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so this is your group. Feel free to um, share. Like after you make something, share with us. We love seeing, okay. <laughs> we love seeing what you do. And um, yeah. So yeah. So we have two two groups. So the accountability group and the um, is the smaller group of all our paid clients. You guys, we give you special attention and coaching, all that stuff. So okay. see, so the replay is available in here as well. All right. And um, yeah, just little things we share. All right, I'm, I smell my pie, I'm let me check on it. Go because I am baking uh, cupcakes for a wedding and I'm getting ready to make my banana from the cupcakes. Ooh. All right, before you go, let me show you my pie, okay? Oh, sure. sure. Let me do the big reveal. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. All right, hold I on. Am, I had to take, well, I had to walk down half a block and get my Amazon because he left it on the wrong porch. Oh, no. That's good. So there's, yeah. there's my chicken pot pie with the mozzarella cheese and almond flour crust. Oh, nice, my. Yeah. Good. Wow, that looks good. So we're going to have to go pick up my kids now. <laughs> but oh. <laughs> but um, it, thank you for joining me. And um, can we take a selfie before we go? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. 